the American economy went into a tailspin as gas shortages gripped the nation. Throughout the late 70s and into the 80s, America was beset by economic problems relating to its reliance on imported oil. Then, Iraq invaded Kuwait in August of 1990. Fear spread that Saddam Hussein's armies might push on and seize the Saudi oil fields. To protect the American economy, the nation prepared for war. Following those meetings, the Saudi government requested our help. And I responded to that request by ordering U.S. air and ground forces to deploy to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Let me be clear, the sovereign independence of Saudi Arabia is of vital interest to the United States. After an intensive aerial bombardment, Iraq withdrew from Kuwait. Oil prices and America's economy once again stabilized. Today, U.S. companies are using advanced three-dimensional technology to search for oil in ways in which previous generations of oil men could not have dreamed. When Rockefeller uh, was, was pioneering our industry, you know, oil was pretty much close to the surface. I mean, Jed Clampett went out there and he shot his gun in the ground and up came, it was bubbling right there. Didn't have to do much to find it. And what are we seeing now as the future starts to unfold? We don't see lots of people out in the oil field like there were before, but these automated machines where the field is so well automated and so well controlled and so well uh, managed in terms of being safe that we let the machines collect the data, do the work remotely where we can actually stay in the comfort of our laboratories on what looks like big consoles, like a spaceship, if you will. It has been almost a century since the collapse of John D. Rockefeller's standard oil colossus. The global dominance enjoyed by American oil companies in the mid-20th century is also gone forever. Still, the nation's oil companies continued the work started by Edwin Drake so long ago, searching the globe for the fuel that powers the nation's industrial empires, the black gold of oil.